Just a nice little, little minor view. It's actually sitting a little closer to the front than I'd like. There's a lot of room back here. We got the NMDs on the feet. I think I, I can probably count on like one hand how many times I've worn these. I had an all black pair, but um, yeah, they got clapped out. A car that you guys all love, a car that I'm pretty sure you guys miss, is a car that we need to attend to because right now it's sitting pretty much dead. Not pretty much, it is dead. Car, we haven't touched our car in two months. Battery is dead. I actually was supposed to move it today because they're trimming the trees around the complex and they put a sign in front of my car literally last night. It was around like, not, it was around like six, seven. So like the evening to like last night, right? And it said, oh, we're trimming the trees between 8 to like 10 or whatever, no parking. And then it put um, something about being towed on the bottom, like violators to be towed, some, something like that. I'm like, bro, you gave me less than a day to figure it out because the battery is dead. I can't move the car. I mean, technically, I, could, I, I don't even have jumper cables. I could have bought some jumper cables, but still, like, you gave me less than a day to figure it out. So I was like, you know what? I don't think you guys are gonna tow it just because you're trimming the tree. So it is what it is. The car is just gonna have to sit there, right? And even if you wanted to tow it, you couldn't because it's sitting aired out. But I'm debating if I wanna go buy jumper cables to go jump the car so that we can kind of get it started. My poor car, bro. There are leaves in the wheel. Yo, how does that even happen? Yeah, my poor car. We'll, uh, it's coming back very, very soon. Very, very soon. I actually really do miss that car. I do want to get up and running so we can stop driving the Dismal just for a little bit. Because even though I live in San Diego now and places that I go was not nearly as far as it is back in NorCal. Like when I go somewhere, it's max like maybe max 30 miles one way, right? Then I come home, it's another 30 miles. So it's not that bad, but it still would be nice to get the ST up and running. But for now, we're just going to have to settle for Another cold start in the Z. Come on. There we go. There we go. So we are on our way to buy a portable vacuum cleaner. I haven't vacuumed my car in months, bro, and that's because I don't have a vacuum cleaner. And I can't, well, I could buy one that's plugged, like you plug into the wall. My garage has a plug-in, but it's it's on the ceiling. And I don't want to run like a extension car all the way down. Like I'd rather just buy like a portable vacuum cleaner that I can just recharge. So on our way to do that. Like I said, I haven't vacuumed these cars in months, dog. Months. You guys hear the flutter? I know you hear it. It's there. It's present. Let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> Gotta love it. I actually know my way around here pretty well now. Like it's been almost a year. It's been what, like 10 months maybe? And I can confidently say that I I pretty much know my way around. I don't really use the navigation unless I need to go somewhere new that I haven't been. And when I tell you that is a very good feeling because guys, I'm terrible with directions. If you know me, you know that I'm terrible with directions. But I don't know, something sparked in me when I moved down here. It was like, you know, I gotta learn, right? Like, what am I do? Like, not know where I'm going or use, like, use navigation. And we all know, using navigation, to figure out where you're going is annoying like in some cases you have to do it but it's mad annoying because then you got to sit there constantly looking at your phone figure out where you're going it's just you know i rather know where i'm going catch me brushing my steering wheel and the chick-fil-a drive-thru yo look at all that stuff that's coming off let's see if you can guys see that you guys probably can't see that but like there's a lot of like dirt and stuff that's on the steering wheel for my hands and we're headed to tarjay also we gotta do a Quick little check, we can clean. All right, let's find the vacuum cleaner, guys. And our package has been acquired, guys. Like I said, we had to buy this because we had a back in my car and I'm not trying to pay each time to vacuum my car, dog. But you know, that starts, I don't even know how much they charge to vacuum, but even if it's like $5, imagine $5, like, Every other week or whatever. I don't know. It starts to add up. Like, why do that when you could just buy a portable vacuum and literally drive the bay? You know what I mean? Make that money back. It starts to pay for itself. I <clears throat> I also realized that if you live by yourself or if you live on your own, 
or you plan to live on your own in the near future, I'm like the best person to follow because, sorry guys, I'm trying to open this box. I'm like the best person to follow because I, I would teach you some life hacks, dog. Like, sheesh. I'm the best person. I, I truly believe that. All right, so we're opening this thing up. Hopefully it has battery so I can show you guys. I don't even know how it works, but we're gonna figure this out together, right? Let's see. Let's see, we're gonna pull this. Came on. I don't know if you're supposed to do that with it not being all the way assembled, but we're gonna find out. What's up, y'all? Let's pick up the vacuum cleaner. And I'm making a mess inside the Z. And it is cordless, so this is gonna be the charger. You guys can see that. All right, let's see, how do we assemble this thing? I'm well aware how weird this might look to somebody on the outside looking in. <clears throat> oh, that's it? <laughs> People are probably like, what the heck is this guy doing? Also, what is, oh, that's sick. So it has like a little flip up thing. That's cool. Oh, no way, yo. All right, let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, it died. But you guys get the point. It works very well for the little life that it had. Okay, now we have to go before we're late because I'm trying to watch the sunset in Del Mar. We got like an hour before the sun starts to set. So let's go. And we have arrived. I honestly did not expect to get front row seating parking like this. Like, like not at all. Literally perfect. That's crazy. And also, this is a very bright and strong sunset. What I mean by that is like, I, I, I could barely even look at the sunset. That's how bright it is. I don't remember ever experiencing a sunset like that. But it's funny because I was never, I said in the past, I was never a person to come and watch the sunset at the beach or anything like that. And it wasn't until I moved out here is when like I found like my love for it and like I actually really enjoy looking at it. It's very, uh, it's very soothing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at home. We are back from Del Mar from watching the sunset. And it was beautiful, by the way. It was one of those things where you kind of just have to put all like electronics down and kind of just enjoy the moment. That's what I was trying to do instead of sitting there trying to take pictures. Um, but I apologize for the content lately. I said it in the last video. Um, content is slow right now, but I promise you guys it will pick back up. I appreciate you guys for sticking with me and watching these videos. And if you stay till the end of the video, I appreciate you even more. But like I said, I promise you guys, it will pick back up. You know, we're just kind of like a little, I wouldn't say drive spell because I'm still pushing it out. Um, Cause I don't want to go completely MIA, right? But at the same time, like the reason why I'm not doing it at the level I, uh, I was doing, like we'll say like a month ago is because I don't want to just film anything, right? Like I don't want to like, pick up the camera, put my shoes on, go outside and like just walk around. Like, I don't want to do that, right? At least like do something in the videos, right? I'm like, I'm trying here. So like I said, it'll, it'll pick back up. I'm not really worried about it because this happened before, right? And then, you know, stuff picks up and then we have things to film, cars to modify and all this stuff. But I will catch you guys in the next one. I don't think we have anything coming up. Um, holidays are coming up. I'm actually going home again. I've actually, it's crazy. It, it doesn't feel like it's been two months, but it's been, well, by the time that I'm headed home, it would be about two months since I've been back home, which is crazy. It seems like I was just there, but Thanksgiving is coming up in about a, a week or like two weeks. Cause literally we have next week. And then the week after that is Thanksgiving when it's, it's that's freaking crazy, bro. Like November just got here, but yeah, I'll be headed back home next week. So I'm gonna try to take the camera to NorCal, take all my equipment, and I'm gonna try to make a video while I'm up there. Cause like I said, I I don't know why, but when I don't get a video out 
in a respectable amount of time, I start to stress out and like I start to feel like a failure. I don't know why. Um, like I told you guys, I really don't do any of this for the money, right? I do it because I love doing it. It's my passion. So when I feel like I'm not doing it at the level that I need to be at, I start to stress out and I start to feel like, quote unquote, like depressed, right? So um, yeah, I'll be trying to make a video while I'm up there next week because I'm, I'm leaving, I think, next Saturday. Tomorrow's Saturday, so pretty much a week from now, I'll be leaving to go back up there. Um, and then, obviously, Christmas and New Year's is next month. So um, I hope you guys are enjoying this time with your family or this upcoming holiday, this upcoming time with your family because this year is pretty much at an end. You know, we have literally one month left, and then we're going to be in 2024. So I'm um, really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to what 24 has to bring because – Literally around this time last year, I was preparing, well, not necessarily, because I, I found out I was moving, uh, I think it was like a week after Thanksgiving last year, I was moving out here. I want to, uh, I'm going to leave you guys with this, right? So I, um, I want to start getting back into journal, journaling, is that how you say it? journaling? Because I used to do it uh, pretty often, and then when I left home and I moved out, I stopped doing it. So literally, I made an entry like a week ago, like last week, or was it this week? I think it was this, it was either this week or last week. I'm losing track of my days here. But um, I made an entry, and before I made that entry, my last entry was literally last year. It was like August 15th, or excuse me, October 15th, right? So I'm reading, I'm reading the entry, right? Keep in mind, it was October 15th, if I'm not mistaken, it was October 15th of 2022. I'm reading the entry, right? And I'm basically just talking to myself. In that entry, I, I say to myself, one of our biggest goals, one of our biggest dreams that we're working towards still at this moment is to move to San Diego. I li Guys, I literally wrote that and I literally read it last week, right? Little did I know, I wrote that in October. That November, I found out I was moving out here. That is That was, that was such like... Um, it was like, I wouldn't say a slap in the face, I wouldn't say that, but it was kind of like a, a like a reality check, right? Because we get so caught up in like chasing our dreams and like getting to the next level, the next level, the next level. And sometimes sometimes we have to just take a step back and see how far we've came, right? Because I, I, I'm 100% I'm, I'm guilty for that, right? Like I'm so worried about like chasing um, my next goal, right? And like just all these crazy dreams that I have in my head that I know that we're going to accomplish. Let me just say that. But I'm just so worried about like making sure that I'm on track and making sure that, you know, I'm doing what I have to do to get to the next level. Right. And it's it. I, I forget sometimes to take a step back and like to look how far I've came. Right. And uh, I, I say it all the time. Like it's it's hard for me to understand like how far I've came because everything I have didn't come overnight. Right. Like obviously we're nowhere near the level that I want to be as far as like the channel and like just my personal brand. Right. Everything. We're not, it's not at the level that I want it to be at, right? But we're working. But how far we've came didn't happen overnight. So it was hard for me to see like how far I've came. The only time it hits me is when I, I meet you guys in public and you guys tell me that, you know, you love watching the channel. I've been watching since this, 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 nine. And that's when, that's when it really hits me, to be honest. But other than that, like I'm constantly just working, working, working. Like I said, it just didn't, it didn't happen overnight, right? Like I'm six years into this. Next year would be seven years, right? Like... And we're still working. We're, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know. I think I, I feel like I'm rambling, but I just wanted to leave you guys with that. Don't forget to sometimes take a step back and just to look at how far you've came. Because like I said, when I read that entry, I was like, bro, literally I'm sitting in my own place in San Diego. Uh, it's, it's freaking crazy. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Stay safe. And stay tuned. Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picking up the pieces. Got to me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new ever about to snap back.